Once restriction enzymes cut DNA to make specific sticky ends with specific sequences, DNA from different organisms can be combined. So human genes cut with these restriction enzymes can be joined to bacterial sequences which have been cut with these enzymes, since they will have corresponding DNA sequences at these sticky ends. And thus, human genes and bacteria can produce molecules important for the human body, such as insulin, which was formerly collect collected from slaughtered cattle, growth hormone, which was formerly collected from cadavers, interferon, which was formerly collected from urine, or hormones like erythropoietin, interleukin, alpha antitrypsin, and the hormone TPA. Other bacteria have been engineered to produce the antigens necessary for certain virus uh, vaccines. Uh, renin used in cheese making, phenylalanine used to make NutraSweet. Some microbes have been engineered to release hydrogen gas or ethanol for fuel, synthesize biodegradable plastics, metabolize toxic compounds, sequester heavy metals, metabolize sulfur and thus reducing the severity of acid rain, improve beer quality through altered yeast strains, combat disease in the wild, help clean oil spilled, and help loosen oil to aid recovery. And so bacteria which have been given new genes can be used for a whole host of important applications.